It's 1916, and Frederick William Harvey, aged 28, is sat in a trench on the Western Front. He's a newly promoted second lieutenant with the Gloucestershire Regiment and just been awarded the Distinguished Conduct Medal. He's reading a letter from his sister Gladys, telling him that his collection of poems sent back from the trenches is being published by a prestigious London publishing house. Well, blow me down. My own book of poems. Would you believe it? Just to think, I had to pretend to enjoy becoming a solicitor to keep mother happy. Stop writing all that rubbish and wasting your time. I have sent you to proper school to learn to speak properly, instead of wasting all your time with those dreamers. <laughs> and now, she is thrilled to bits that I I'm a Gloucestershire hero. And she and her bishop friend have got me published. Can you believe it? Oh, my best friend Ivor will be thrilled. He's out here too, somewhere. When we were training, everyone got so homesick and bored and it was worse over here. So I started writing funny poems for a newspaper we started. The Fifth Gloucester Gazette. We gave everyone a good ribbing. <laughs> that was a close one. I could see the headline now. <laughs> Gloucestershire poet killed by random shell before he sees his work published. I hate this war. And I'm homesick. I'm homesick for my hills again. My hills again to see above the seven plain. I'm homesick for my hills again. So, Mother, Gladys, the bishop and the publisher all want a title for the collection of poems. Well, what about a soldier writes or verses from an untidy officer? But I'm none of those things. Not really. Not a soldier. Not an officer. I'm just a Gloucestershire lad. what I'll call it. That's the title. A Gloucestershire lad at home and abroad. That's me. The Gloucestershire poet and decorated soldier second lieutenant Frederick William Harvey reported missing presumed dead a few weeks ago is reported by the Red Cross to be alive and well in a German prisoner of war camp. He is reportedly writing more poems from captivity for another collection following the enormous success of his first, A Gloucestershire Lad at Home and Abroad. <laughs>